After scripting history with Chandrayaan 3's soft landing near the south pole of the moon, India now has its eyes set on the sun. Aditya L1 is set to take off in a few hours from now and the launch is scheduled at 11.50 a.m. from the Satish Dhawan Space Centre in Sri Harikota. All internal checks and launch rehearsals have been completed and the mission will take off on the PSLV C-57 rocket along with seven payloads to unlock the mysteries of the sun. Now, the primary payload on board Aditya L1 is the Visible Emission Line Chronograph or the VELC and this holds the capacity to send close to 1440 images of the sun every single day to ISRO scientists. Now, the mission aims to study the solar chromosphere, map the magnetic fields and also decode the intricate interplay between solar radiation and Earth's climate. Now, the Aditya L1 will be put in a halo orbit around the Lagrange point 1 of the Sun-Earth system, which is where the name L1 comes from. Now, the L1 position is about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, roughly four times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. And to cover this massive distance, Aditya L1 will take four long months. Now, with the world lauding and celebrating ISRO's last space outing, all eyes are now on Aditya L1 to reach new heights, quite literally. This Aditya VLC, the main science objective mission is to understand the solar corona. Okay, so we are going 1% closer to the sun. Which, is, which takes about 108 days to reach that intended L1 orbit. From there, we are having a continuous view of sun, 24 hours. It is not, there is no day, there is no uh, night there actually. All 24 hours it is seeing the sun, the instrument is seeing sun and it is getting the data. So the heating phenomenon of corona is not uh, known actually. That to study that, this, uh, this mission will be helpful to understand the heating element, how, what heats the corona. This uh, VLC, the Visible Emission Line Coronagraph, is, uh, meant to, uh, is meant to observe the solar corona, that is the outermost layer of the sun. L1 is a point, it's a orbit, uh, which is in between the sun and earth, where the gravitational pull will be balanced. So the orbit, uh, in that orbit satellite will be placed, it will observe, stay in that orbit and it will observe the sun for uh, 24 hours without any obstructions of our day and night. Actually, after launch, it will take around four months to reach L1. So there are four uh, detectors and we are going to get all the images and spectra. As per the continuum channel, uh, we are going to get one image per minute. Aditya ke baare mein plan kiya. Is pe saath jo payloads hain, jo VLC, a visible emission line chronograph hai, ye ek unique hai. इस पर क्या है कि हम वायुमंडल जो सूर्य का है उसका स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी भी लेंगे और उसके इमेजिंग भी लेंगे इमेज हम कंटिन्यू रेडिएशंस में लेंगे कंटिन्यू रेडिएशन जो है वो सोलर डिस्क लाइट है सूर्य की लाइट है जो कि इलेक्ट्रॉन से स्कैटर होकर हमारे पास पहुंचती है परंतु जो मिशन लाइन स्पेक्ट्रा है वो जो रेडिएशंस हैं वो किरणें हैं वो वायुमंडल में ही पैदा होती हैं तो हम उस वायुमंडल की रियल फिजिकल बहुत कंडीशन क्या है वो कैसा है कैसा नहीं है उसका तापमान कैसा है उसको हम स्टडी कर सकते हैं माय कलीग स्वराली स्पोक टू द पुणे साइंटिस्ट हु डेवलप द सूट पेलोड फॉर आदित्य एल वन एंड थ्रू दिस सैटेलाइट साइंटिस्ट से दे वांट टू स्टडी हाउ रेडिएशन अफेक्ट द सन We have Durgesh Tripathi with us and uh, the scientist. Uh, sir, please tell me how is it made and what are the features of this payload and how is it going to function over there? Right, so Solar Ultraviolet Telescope is essentially going to look at the ultraviolet radiation from the sun and uh, it is going to provide information uh, about the solar atmosphere. So in this instrument what we have is we are uh, 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 choosing different frequencies within this 2000 to 4000 angstrom band and we'll be mapping simultaneously different heights in the solar atmosphere so that we want to understand that how different layers of the atmosphere uh, is connected at the same time this radiation which is coming towards the earth it gets absorbed in the stratosphere of the earth atmosphere 
So what you're actually looking at that how the sun is working at the same time how the sun's radiation is affecting our climate. And this particular wavelength is very, very important. It provides the crucial information that how the sun climate is connected and how much effect the sun's radiation would have in defining the ozone and oxygen uh, chemistry in the Earth's atmosphere. Sir, what will you have to say when this is the same laboratory wherein this payload has been developed under your direction and how many people were involved in the entire project? I think uh, there are several people involved in even saying it is my uh, direction is uh, maybe overestimation. There were three directors who were part of this mission. And if you take uh, students from colleges and uh, scientists at various levels, this is several hundred people. And uh, they have learned from here and uh, went to industries and other places. So the contribution is not only for building uh, this instrument, it has also built the capacity building for the country because several uh, industries have people who are trained in very sophisticated techniques uh, employed. So I think it is a good moment for us. And uh, again, uh, we would consider it as a stepping stone because this is the second step in building UV uh, telescope. First one was UV, which was in AstroSat which was conceived by somebody else, but it was mainly built by uh, a scientists. Uh, some of the crucial components and crucial tests were done by us. Now we have done the full payload. Right. Next thing is to do the full telescope and uh, hope that uh, our team will be geared up for this and the training provided here is sufficient enough to last for several days.